Hello lovelies, welcome back to part two. So the next thing is a highlighter kit. Some of the things that they bring out are really good and it's it's quite cheap for the average person I guess. I mean this was $14. Sometimes they can have like really cheap things that aren't always the best and then you know I feel like this is one of the higher quality things that they've brought out but I don't know maybe maybe it's not <laughs> this is probably like some people are just like okay cool yeah not that exciting but I don't own a lot of things that look this fancy Ooh, and it's holographic nice Satisfying. Okay. So that's cool. I'm going to close it. So this is a brand that it's highlights by BYS. And they claim on their website that they don't test on animals. It's a holographic. But I think... I haven't gone too far into that. I hope these are good because I was pretty excited <laughs> to buy it. Okay, maybe I'll just try this with a little brush. See how we go. Oh yeah, that's nice and shimmery. Very subtle shimmer. Not too bad. Or is it cold one? Yeah, that's all right. Sorry if it's hard to see. I have really bad lighting. So I've just kind of gone in like three times. Yeah, that's pretty. And that still goes on pretty well, actually. Nice. A little bit of a bronze. Yeah. It's hard to see on my skin because I'm so freaking pale. But they're all shimmering. I will definitely want to buy more highlights though because only recently really like only within this year have I kind of known to highlight my face because I just I never ended up getting one I always didn't bother but I wasn't too worried about what I got and I didn't pay attention to how it would last and how it wouldn't last. I just didn't pay attention to like how well my foundation and stuff stayed on. So it's like I, you know, was just using the wrong foundations and you know, everything like that. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with this highlight. And it's, it's, you know, look at that shift, man. Look at that hollow shift. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I have no idea. 
yeah I'm pretty happy oh I didn't even tell you the names of them so this one's glam and this one's glisten gleam golden glimmer and I put the little brush back Yes, maybe I should do a little... There's still a little bit of shimmer left on my hand, but I want to pick some up with this. Because I, I wonder if I'm going to start using this to highlight. It's kind of my whole hand. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm just being silly now. This brush feels good, man. That's it. So, these are vegan and cruelty free. Um, this claims to be cruelty free. I don't know how vegan it is. I will be doing, like, I keep saying I will be doing more research on brands. Um, hopefully, I can find some more information about this company. So, yeah. I don't, I'm not too hopeful about this, honestly. It doesn't seem like it's that great, but I don't know until I try it. So the brush looks good because, like I said, I have really long eyelashes. It actually, I feel like it really, I like the fact that I have long eyelashes. Don't get me wrong, I really do. I'm really grateful. But sometimes I feel like it really gets in the way of, like, doing wing eyeliner and stuff like that. So that's just one downside of having long lashes but you know I wouldn't take away my long lashes at all not that you can really see them unless I tint them and or, or wear mascara so you know I've had people think that I'm wearing fake eyelashes sometimes but yeah thank you for watching and listening listening to me ramble um get used to saying the names of things like I don't know if I said this is the black is black <laughs> And yeah, I said this one because I thought that was pretty cool. Coffee latte. And yeah, highlight. Highlighting palette. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is quite an old video. But I thought I'd upload it anyway. I feel like I've definitely grown since this video. And I just can't wait to keep making better content. So I'll see you in the next one.